I'm Ryan with Escape Climbing. We're going to talk about how to install climbing holds onto a brick wall. And so it's something that we've been getting quite a few questions about. And so I just want to take a few minutes and talk through the different options that you have. And so whether this is a brick wall in your basement, um, it could be a solid block wall. So we're going to talk through that. Uh, it could be a cinder block wall. It might be brick. I know in some of these older 1900s houses, like they have limestone walls in their basement that we've had people install climbing um, holds into. And so uh, what we're going to do is I'll just talk through some of the tools you'll need, the three different ways that you can install holds onto a concrete surface. And then we'll run outside and I'll go ahead and drill the holes and then we'll come back in here and install it. And so uh, the three different types is screw on holds. So you can screw holds onto a concrete wall. Uh, what you're going to need is you just need a drill, preferably one with a hammer mode. And so this has a drill mode and hammer mode. If you're only doing a couple, you could probably get by with the drill mode. Um, but then the one that has a hammer function is going to make it a lot easier if you're putting quite a few holds on. So a drill, uh, when you buy, um, you're going to need some commercial concrete screws, screws that are designed for holding in concrete. A drill bit to open up the holes to pre-drill, some concrete adhesive, uh, and then depending on what type you might need some Lone Stars for installing um, because you can also convert bolt-on holds, um, add a few extra set screws, and then this could install with you know four concrete screws. All right, moving down, the other thing you can do is use anchors and the anchors really function like tina so you can go ahead and put lots of holes all over your concrete wall uh, put in your drop-in anchor or your expansion anchor and it's really having t-nuts in your wall and then you can move the holes around um, you can route set change it up uh, and it makes it really functional just like a plywood climbing wall so this is a bit beefier if you're drilling this one needs a 5 8 hole for this expansion anchor and so I have my 5H drill bit. This is a serious drill bit, and so it's going to need a hammer drill, okay? Um, you can rent these. Maybe a friend has these. If there's a route setter, this is one that I use for route setting, like setting, you know, sport routes outside. Um, so a hammer drill, um, 5H drill bit with your expansion anchor. And then on the drop-in anchor, so this one works a little different. We'll talk about that in a minute. This one needs a half-inch drill bit, which is in here. And then to set this one, you need to pick up a setting tool. This is called a drop-in anchor setting tool. And then that's what the hammer's for, you know, to hammer that in. Uh, whenever you drill out your holes, you need some way of cleaning it. And so um, a wire brush to clean out the holes and then something to blow all the dust, oops, all the dust out of the hole. And so this is, um, this works, air compressor works. Um, any way to have your holes really clean. A uh, quick thing, obviously, eye protection, ear protection, and then some sort of uh, um, dust mask because you don't want to be breathing in concrete dust, okay? And so let's run outside. I'll go ahead and drill those holes, and then I'll swing back in here and show you how I'm solid. So back in, let's start with screw-on holds first. So this is one of our screw-on jugs, and we're just going to screw this right into our concrete. And so a couple of things to be aware of is uh, we want this to bond and be as strong as possible, okay? So we're going to use two tactics. Uh, one, we're going to use a concrete adhesive. Uh, this is concrete adhesive anchor, and so this is used for anchoring into concrete. Uh, it's what when you're setting sport routes outside and you're falling on these anchors, if it's a gluing anchor, it's a similar product um, that we're using outside on sport routes or a multi-pitch route or any type of anchor out at the local tracks. Uh, it's what construction workers use to put threaded rod and anchors into concrete. And so this stuff is made to hold. It's super strong. It's made to bond to concrete, okay? Uh, maybe not necessarily plastic, but it's... Um, if we rough up the back of our holes, we're going to get some bond, okay? And so it's definitely going to help us. 
And one thing that you should know is that your install and your strength is only as good as your concrete or your rock or whatever you're installing it to. And so this is a hole that I glued on um, a couple days ago. And so I glued it on and then we ripped it off the wall and it wasn't the glue that failed. So there's no screws this was just glued on. Is it's really the concrete that just ripped off the wall. And so it's really important to know how strong your concrete is. Um, if you know if your concrete's painted in your basement, then you're just bonding to paint. So that's not going to give you much holding power. And so ideally, you're going to have some bare concrete that you can put the concrete adhesive to, and then we're going to back that up with some really long screws. Okay. And so with this, I'm just going to kind of shoot some off over here, and then you shoot this until um, you get a unified color. I'm just going to run a bead on the back of the climbing hold here. And then here's my three screw holes. I'm going to go ahead and line that up. Switch that over to screw mode. And I'm not going to run that in all the way. There we go. Have that lined up. And one thing to note whenever you're using concrete screws is you don't want to run them in um, all the way and then just keep ramming it in, okay, especially with an impact is as soon as it comes snug, you want to stop, otherwise you're going to break off the heads or you could strip out your hole. And so as soon as it comes snug right there, um, I'm going to go ahead and stop. And then it hit the bottom, and I'm going to go ahead and stop there. And you'll get the hang of it after a couple. And so, you know, this is on, feels super bomber, and then with that concrete adhesive, um, carrying up, you're going to have a permanent and a really strong climbing hole, okay? And so really think about um, how strong your concrete is um, or whatever you're screwing into and then adjust your screws accordingly, okay? And so there's nothing wrong with running some really long screws in or how big your hole is and how much um, torque you're going to get on it. Uh, something I mentioned earlier is you can use our Lone Stars. And so if you have a bolt-on hole, you can convert this to a screw-on. Um, this is one of the legacy holds and so with the Lone Star what this does is this makes that bolt hole able to take you know a nice long concrete screw and then two is not enough to hold it and so I would go ahead and drill another hole here and here and I might have you know four um, concrete screws holding this down a lot of surface area on the back to get the concrete adhesive to bond you know and then you're going to have you know a hole that's pretty permanently on whatever that wall it is. Right. So that is screw on holds. Let's move over and let's talk about our two anchors. And one of the big questions we have is what's the difference between the two anchors we have on the website? And so we have our drop-in anchor and then we have our hollow block anchor. And the difference really is, is what it's designed for. Is that this anchor, the drop-in anchor, will work on a solid block. And so that's rock, it's a brick, um, it's a solid chunk of cement. And this is a, we call it a hollow block because it will work in a hollow block, you know, a cinder block here. And so where you have this void is the expansion point can go in here, you have your hole, and then as you set this one, it's going to flare out and it can hold. It doesn't need um, it to be solid all the way through, where this only works when the back of this anchor is up against something solid, where this anchor, this single point expansion, can have a void behind it and still function properly. And so that's really the main difference. This is going to work on all your solid applications, where your rock or concrete or brick surface is solid all the way through, and that's going to hit something behind it and the hollow block, the single point expansion, uh, will work in both applications. It could work here, where it's solid behind it, and then it's also going to work where it has a void or a hole behind it. This, this is um, a drop-in anchor is also just for solid block. Another word for that is a solid block anchor. And so in this area, this is solid through here, and so the hole I drilled is actually for a drop-in anchor. All right, so with the drop-in anchor, you literally just drop it in, and then I can take the setting tool and what I'm going to do, I'm going to hammer right now it's going to touch there and so I have to hammer all the way until this lip, this flange up here on the setting tool comes in contact 
with the bottom of the anchor, or the top lip of the anchor. And I'm just going to kind of spin it out. And so what that is, I expanded the back and it's set. So that's a drop and anchor. It's installed. Um, I already blew it and cleaned it. And so the cleaner your hole is, the more it's going to be able to hold into the concrete. And so what should we do? Should we test that out? Make sure I did it okay. So here's the climbing hole. One thing to note with these holes, so this is a two inch bolt. This is expanding a little over an inch, okay? And one of the downfalls with the drop in anchor is that there's only so many threads and then you're gonna hit that pin and then the bolt can't go any further. And so your threads have to be coming in ideally about a half inch. So this is the right amount of threads. And that's about all the wiggle room. So you don't have much tolerance on how far out this comes. If it's too long of a bolt, it just won't work. If it's too short, it's dangerous. <coughs> um, and you're gonna need about five threads. And so I'm gonna get that here. So I'm in, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The reason I'm counting, that's how many threads I have. So I have about seven full threads. Um, which means that's about perfect. That's you know a half inch, and so you know that's a climbing hole installed into a concrete wall. All right. Last but not least is the expansion anchor, and so one of the beauties is this can use, be used both in the solid block, which is over here, or if you drill through and you have the solid part, uh, or in a cinder block wall where you have this void. Okay, and so. Kind of the trick with this is I just drilled my 5 eighths hole here, is as this falls in. Put it this way so you can see a little bit better. Uh, it's just going to be flush and then I actually need a bolt and you can just use the climbing hole. And on this one it can be longer because the, we have this big void, it can go past. And then I just need to start screwing and that's going to pull it against this surface of the hole, which is going to be flush on there, and then expand out, and I'm going to set my anchor using the climbing hole. Okay. So one of the things, it might be easier, I'm actually just going to start. This bolt is too short, actually. Need one. Okay. There we go. Longer bolt. And so I'm just going to start it on here. Find my hole, go ahead and set it in. I have my wrench. I'm going to go ahead and start tightening it. Um, if it's not grabbing right away, you can kind of like torque it and change the angle. So this one wasn't grabbing, and I just push down my wrench, and then it's grabbing. And I'm just going to keep twisting. I don't have a whole lot of resistance. It's kind of cool because I can watch the back of it just literally flaring out right now. Together. So you can see it actually expanding back there, getting a bit more resistance. And actually, it's taking quite a bit right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop before I like break my wrench or strip it out. <laughs> and now that it's set, I'm just going to go ahead and back that out. that anchor and solid. It's nice and flush with the surface and that's going to act just like a T-nut wood in a plywood wall. And so with the plywood walls you have a three quarter inch, you have a T-nut behind it and they can move your holds all over. And by putting either the drop-in anchors or these expansion anchors, um, you're really creating that same dynamic and that versatility on a masonry wall or whatever, you know, brick or concrete wall that you have. And so hopefully that um, makes installing onto concrete a little less scary, whether you're screwing it in using a drop-in anchor or an expansion anchor. Um, and now it's time to go pepper those basement walls or those outdoor brick walls or whatever it might be. If you have questions, go to our website, escapeclimbing.com. 
where we have all of this stuff available, the drop in anchors, the tools, the drill bits. Um, if there's more questions, order uh, orders at escapeclimbing.com is a good resource and we'd be happy to try, you know, problem solve or figure out, um, you know, how to help you out and get some climbing holds on some walls. Uh -huh.